I'm Sunyan. After last episode, we flew from Chiang Mai to Phuket, Thailand's largest island that's famous for being a tourist hotspot. This week, we're staying at the Hilton Phuket Arcadia, a five-star resort with food way outside our budget. So today, we're on the hunt for something more affordable. And we're in luck because right next door is one of our all-time favorite places. That's right, we're gonna be eating nothing but 7-Eleven for the next 24 hours. Let's check it out. Today's weather forecast is awful. So we're gonna buy all our food for the day in one trip. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Okay, so the first thing I see right away is the 7-Eleven has a cafe. So I get to actually order a real coffee here. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Aren't you? Oh, they have nice looking salads. Too. Oh, no. Nice, the salad looks though. I want some like uh, rice and something. Mm. Perfect basil chicken fried egg rice. Mmm, that looks yummy. The bread looks delicious. It looks so good. These look amazing. Mm. Yeah, they're delicious. Is this pandan? Pandan. This one looks really good. Cinnamon, Cinnamon roll. roll. Yeah. Oh, I want chocolate salt cake. What is this? Rice cake? I don't know. Let's get it. Double oh, croissants. Cheese, croissant. They have so many kinds of drinks and yogurts. Get a bottle of soy milk. Oh, actually, I want a one in paper avocado. Yeah, I want this. From America. You'll feel at home. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want the essence of oh, chicken. <laughs> Look at how bold he is. I can channel my inner bird. So I want to do some savory stuff. Snacks. It's like a thumb chip, but with, with salad? fish egg cream salad. Oh, I'm gonna go with plus some raw flavor. Lots of fried squid. I wanna try one seaweed. Should we get a spicy one? Yeah, it's a spicy yeah. one. Yeah. Our cart is getting a little full. You know what looks really good? Dried mango with chili plum. Let's get it. What? No, put it back. If you need some diapers, they have it here too. Sarah, do you need some diapers? Oh, oh yes, wow. this is the best section. I heard this was good. Well, I want this. We didn't get to try boat noodles while we were here, but I oh, heard boat noodles are really good. Noodle. Oh man, I think we have a lot of food. Okay. We got breakfast, mm -hmm. lunch, dinner, dessert, snacks. I think we got everything. Come here. We're ready. Oh, I could eat here all day. It's not bad at all. No filming sign. Oopsie. Fun fact about 7 Eleven Thailand actually has the biggest 7 Eleven in the world. It's two stories, it's nautical themed. So it's shaped like a cruise ship. Do they have seafood there? They probably have everything. It's 7 Eleven. with breakfast. Coconut water, mango juice, soy milk, almond milk, ham and cheese toast bread. <gasps> Look how tasty it looks. Taro and coconut custard filled bread. Ham and cheese double croissant. Dried mango with chili plum americano. Let's eat. All right, so I'm gonna start breakfast with a ham and cheese sandwich. They toasted it for us. This is what it looks like. <gasps> Oh. All right, I'm gonna try the ham and cheese toast. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. But it's a little bit sweet. And it's like crunchy on the side. Mmm. Do you want half? Panini toast. Mmm. This is really convenient. It was really cheap. And in Tessa's spot, it's really simple. So I, I, I'd give it a solid seven because it's a pretty good snack. I give it an eight because anything with cheese gets an eight for me. All right, so I got this um, ham and cheese double croissant and I'm really excited because I love croissant. Oh, it looks nice and soft and I see a big piece of ham in here. Mmm. See, I think they did a better job with this croissant than the sandwich because the croissant, it's buttery. It's another level of savoriness. It's really good. I like the sandwich better. 
Mm, the croissant is much better. They microwave this one. The crustiness of the toast is better. See the cheese on this thing? I think they put more cheese on this croissant than the sandwich. Yeah. I just want to drink some soy milk. Wow. I've been missing soy milk. Like, they don't have that many soy milk in the US. They have almond milk. <laughs> this says it's with avocado? With seven mixed vegetables. It tastes like a thick almond milk. Thick. There's no veggies there over there? A mm, little bit. It says it's gut loving almond milk. Is your gut I, loving it? My gut is loving it. Mm. Oh, so it's almond milk, but the aftertaste is a little grassy and grainy. Oh, this is gross after. <laughs> almond milk all the way. I'll be honest, I much prefer American breads to the pastries we have in Asia, but I always try them anyway. This is taro and coconut custard filled pie. It looks so good. Look at that. And it's hollow. <laughs> it's there. Oh, that bite was good. I got like a piece of coconut. Mmm. Coconut pieces, six out of ten. The rest of it, four out of ten. But with the milk, it goes really well together. Wanna try it again? Okay, what flavor is this supposed to be? Like tofu? Taro. Taro. What's your rating? This is like four. Four? Yeah. For a standard bread, it's okay. If I was hungry, I'd definitely get it again. So this is the best drink. Mango juice. And coconut water. Ta-da! It's so refreshing. The mango juice by itself is like too strong, like syrup. If you mix coconut water in, it makes it lighter. This is my favorite. Singin just likes mango juice. It's time for the wild card. Dried mango with chili plum. I don't know about this. And I can only read on the back. It says it's mango, plum powder, syrup, sugar, chili, and salt. Oh wait, should I take a big bite or a little bite? Big bite. Mmm. Oh. Is it spicy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? I feel like I just went through like 10 different flavors in five seconds. Spicy, salty, sweet, a little acidic. I don't, hold on, hold on, hold on. My mouth is overwhelmed. It's good, but I don't like the aftertaste that much. At the end, it almost has like an artificial flavor. I don't know if that's the plum powder. Your turn, Singhan. I think it's mango. Spicy, sweet, and then more spicy. Spicy more, and then sweet, <laughs> and then mango. I don't know, it goes like back and forth. <laughs> it just takes you on a flavor journey. I kind of like it. Like. Yeah, it's not really my thing, especially mm. with sweet mixing spicy. It's mm. I'm not really a fan. I don't know. I I think I could get on board with the fruit and chili mm. too. It's lunchtime. I picked out this delicious looking stir fried chicken and sweet basil with red curry paste and omelet with rice. It does look good. Look at how good that looks. I mean, that is like a full meal. So I picked stir fried basil pork and rice. I'm hoping it's not too spicy because I came spicy, but I thought the, the minced pork with rice all mixed together looked pretty good. Mmm, that's good. There's definitely some zinc to it. It's a little bit spicy, but I feel like I'm eating fried rice scooped out of a tom yum soup. Oh, yummy. It's really tasty. I think it would have been way too greasy, but since there's some spices in the fried rice, it goes really well with the um, the flavor of um, basil. Mm. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Mm -hmm. My turn! Chicken and basil, chilies, eggplant too. And on top, really big fluffy looking egg omelet. Mmm! This sauce is really good. 
sweeter than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be spicy because there's so many chilies in there. Let's taste the eggplant. It's an eggplant. eggplant. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Good, fresh. I give it like a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely good for a convenience store. The nice spicy, I can't. <laughs> Is it really that spicy? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty spicy. It's spicy. It's good. It's not spicy like burn your mouth spicy. It has really strong spices. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Really flavorful though. Alright, to finish up lunch, we have some snacks. I have this Ebico cream salad chip. It looks like sun chips. Got hair plus some raw chips. It looked a little spicy. Cheers. Oh, different. Mm. Mine's not spicy at all. It, it tastes is. like cooked tomatoes. Really? Mm -hmm. It's like the flavor and the texture don't match in my head. But it has almost like a poopy mayo sweet flavor too. Mm. I do think, oh, it tastes like fried fish. Yeah? Let me check. Let's switch. Mmm. I like this one. I give this like a 9 out of 10. This one, I can't tell what it is. A little bit of fish, I taste a little bit of um, cheese almost. <laughs> sweet, it's like sweet. Sweet, yes. This one's the winner for me, nine out of 10. <sighs> oh, so it is about like 2.30, and we had lunch a little while ago, but I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. So I got some of our snacks out. Grilled salmon, cream cheese lays, but let's give it a taste. It tastes like salmon a little bit. Strange, but it's good. Like this is not sweet. Nice savory cream cheese. Mmm, I would buy this again. And the other snack I have is this thing. It's like rice cake a little bit almost. Whoa, it is dense. Look how pretty they look. It is like heavy. Mmm. It's really sweet. Oh, it's like a custard filled pastry, but the dough is really sticky. And then the inside is like super, super sweet. I don't think I can finish this whole thing. You need this with like a cup of milk or something. Oh, it's like a dense donut. It's a little gooey. The inside is a custard filled cream, like a donut. Gummy donut. Oh, this one might have special instruction. Triple layer? It's like a heating pack. Uh-oh, it's all in Thai. I have no idea how to read it. Let's follow the pictures. Dinner time and we have some noodles ready for us to eat. Coconutty looking broth. Oh, it smells, I smell the lemongrass flavor. It smells really good. I hope it's not too spicy. I love Tom Yum flavor, but I don't like it too spicy. Mmm. Good? It's good. The Tom Yum flavor is pretty mm. strong. It's like straight up Tom Yum soup. Let me try. Mm. I'm waiting. I'm gonna get this red sauce on this white robe. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like the broth too. And it's a little bit spicy, but mm. not too spicy. Mm. This is one of the best cup noodles I've had in I think so Southeast too. Asia. It's just strong, good. strong broth. And it's mm. just really tasty. It's great. What do you rate it? Um, I rate this 9 out of 10. Mm. I think so too. 9 out of 10. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Alright. So even though Sing can pick this one, I'm gonna try it. It's minced pork flavor. Ooh, you can actually see the pork pieces in here. Looks pretty good. I see some veggies. Look at that pork. The broth looks kind of weak though, I think. Mmm. 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 It's really mild. The broth is kind of just like a salty, savory flavor. The pork is pretty good though. Mmm. Hold on. Mmm. So, we left this noodle a little bit overcooked, but the flavor itself is really not too bad. It's actually pretty good. This would be really good if you don't want anything too strong. Yeah, or someone who doesn't like spicy flavors would really like this one. Okay, 
Mm. I think my boat noodles are ready. Bing. All right, so how do we eat this? It's just like... Hot. The broth looks really dark. I've never had boat noodles though, so I don't know what they're supposed to taste like. Ah, hot. hot. Ooh, my tongue like touched the edge and it already has so much flavor. Mmm, no, mmm. Whoa, it's like a flavor bomb. Star anise flavor, I think is what it is. A little bit spicy, so there must be some chili in there too. Or you should taste it. I've never had any other cup noodle like that. I smell a little bit of like herbal medicine kind of a smell. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's a little sweet. And then it has a lot of different spices going on. I don't know if I like this. I think it's because I'm not really used to this flavor. I wouldn't say this is my favorite. But if you like strong spices, you would love this. had a feast at 7-Eleven and I bought this, but I was just too full to eat it. So I'm gonna try it today. Milky white cream cake cinnamon roll. All right, ready? Ooh, look at that. This looks like a little mini cream cake with three layers and then on top, some white chocolate shavings and some kind of like crumble. tastes like an Asian cream cake. It's really light. I don't know why it's called cinnamon roll because it doesn't have any cinnamon flavor. Personally, I prefer more like heavier, sweeter desserts, but this is nice if you like something really light. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I thought you didn't like it. I'm not a very harsh critic. Maybe a 7 out of 10. Babe, I, I left the one bite of this brownie. <laughs> Do you see how small this bite is? Oh, babe, thanks for thinking of me. You don't really like it? Mm. You told me brownie, but then I read on the front it's cake. I was expecting a brownie. It's not too bad though. It tastes like chocolate pudding flavor. And it's pretty soft. And this would go well with ice cream. Now this looks tasty. It says number one seaweed snack. Love seaweed. So. Ooh, woo -hoo, smell the fish. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's like thicker. And it's more like a fan. Dense. I'm used to like really thin, paper thin ones. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It's crispy, it's salty. It's not spicy at all. This is easily like 9.5 out of 10. This tastes like a side dish to me. <laughs> like, I want some rice with this. And it's a little spicy. What are you talking about? It's just kind of spicy. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. My favorite things the entire 7 Eleven trip this chip, tom yum noodles, potato chip that was like fish, grilled fish flavor. What's your top favorite? Mmm, it's a hard choice. I really like the cheese ham croissants, <laughs> but I also like the tom yum soup noodles and the minced pork noodles that was tasty as well. But other things were pretty good too, except. A spicy mango. He's crazy. The spicy tom mango is pretty good. I gave the rest to my parents and they ate the whole pack. <laughs> <laughs>